It took them 16 days to make a journey of 10,000 uh, kilometers starting from Accra through various countries until arriving in England on Sunday. Uh, what an incredible feat aimed at raising funds to help deal with uh, poor infrastructure in our schools. Uh, but now uh, we are asking that question, how was the journey and how is uh, the charity going to work? Well, joining us is the leader of that group that took on uh, that uh, very interesting journey. Kojo Saka Adomensa is joining us uh, via Zoom. Thank you, sir, for spending some time to, uh, with us. Uh, congratulations, first of all. Uh, first, tell us um, how, how the entire trip went for you as a group. Well, thank you for speaking to us, but I'd want to say I am not the leader of the group. I am a member of the group. When it comes to leadership, I think we consider Teddy Kwabna Pepra as our leader. He's, he's one of the conveners and he's one of the people who has been very instrumental in seeing us through to this place. The journey has been awesome. It's been a wonderful experience. The reception with which the world has received this is humbling. And the reception we got on entering England yesterday is unforgettable. We are humbled, we are grateful. We are getting a lot of support since yesterday. We've noticed that contributions towards the fund is increasing and it's exciting to see. Uh, I see. I'm just wondering what the way back will be like. Are you driving back? We are not driving back, unfortunately. We are coming back by air. Oh, okay, interesting. So let's talk then about the next phase of this project. Uh, you indicated to the world that um, you wanted to use this to raise awareness and to raise uh, more funds to, to help deprived schools. Um, how is that going to work now that you've completed this journey? Okay, our initial push is to raise 100000 to help a charity called Edu Sports. They've established over 60 libraries in Ghana and communities in the rural areas. And we are hoping that this money will help digitize these libraries. These libraries were created by the charity and have been given to the communities to run. Mm. So they are community run libraries, but we are, and you know, we are in a digital age. So we are trying to introduce digitization into these labs so that these children will have access to internet, access to computers, access to tablets, and have real-time information to grow. I see. Um, and would you say that you, you are far advanced with the plan and that everything is, is on, on course as you describe it? Uh, well, the plans by the charity is on course. It's the money that we are raising that is behind schedule. We're hoping that would have at least crossed half of our target by now. But as of now, we have it. But we are buoyant and very, very hopeful because on this trip, myself, Kweju Saka, and Teddy, and Kwame Pepra, who are, are into real estate, agreed to put up 20 of our houses at a discounted rate so that while here, we'll try and sell them. And out of that, we have agreed to make a contribution of $40,000 to Edu Sports. It is our ardent hope that that will go a long way to help in our bid to raise the 100,000. And there's this big question about the motivation. Where is it coming from? I will, for the motivation, we're a bunch of hardworking young men who love to drive and love to travel. We are known for adventure. We have climbed Afajato. Some of us have climbed to the Kilimanjaro. We have driven across West Africa a couple of times. We have circled Ghana on countless occasions. So it's a situation of we are doing something that we love to do, we enjoy doing, and while doing it, we are using it to promote a good cause. I see. It's such a, a great pleasure to be a hardworking young man. But thank you, Kujusaka Adomensa, for joining us here on the Join News channel. And that's all we have for you in this package. I am blessed to so go log on to myjouronline.com. Lots of stories there for you. Next is Let's Talk Showbiz, but that will be after this break. Please stay